Hey everybody, Ron, Four Season Barbecue. Welcome back to my channel again. Happy Friday. And I am doing some, these are T-bone type pork chops. And the seasoning I have on there, I haven't used this in quite a while and I love it. Tony Satchery's Original Creole. And we're also going to throw some Bush's Grilling Beans Steakhouse Tradition. I love these. I love Bush's Beans. That's, you know, when I make, when I make homemade beans, all I do is I use these and I just add a bunch of stuff to them. Anyway, let's get this, uh, get this on the smoker or on the grill and get this rolling and you know of course I forgot to open the beans so I'll bring it back when I put everything on all right let's come over here look at this got my beans on got my pork chops on I'm gonna reverse sear these got my thermometer in there and I'm gonna put some whiskey barrel smoke uh, pellets in there. See if we can get a little, little bit of smoke flavor with this. Now I'll probably add some more here in a little bit. Let me bring you guys back. When you get ready to uh, check them out, I'm going to take those up to about 140. I know they say that you can eat pork at 145 now. I still like to go 150, 155. Hold on, getting some fire action going here. Close that up a little bit so the pellets will smoke instead of burn. Anyway, I like to take them up to 150, 155, just to be safe. And with chops like that, they're still gonna be juicy as hell. Anyway, bring you back here in a little bit. All right, put the lid on there. Killed the flames. Now we got some smoke. Get some smoke on them chops. And we are at 93 degrees on the old Inkbird 6. Anyway, bring you guys back here. And these are ready to uh, get on the hot part of the fire and sear them up. Bear back. All right, here we are. The internal temp just switched to 140. Let's get these over the fire. Get some searing going on. Man, those wood chips smell fantastic. Show you these real quick. It's starting to rain. There. The beans, they're not boiling yet, but they just need to be hot. They don't need to boil. All right, let's put these over and get them on the heat. They're already just about safe to eat. At 140, I like to take them a little higher, like I told you. I'm cooking pork chops. I like my shirt. Baby's on to eat. Holes are running a little low, so let's see what see what happens. Be right back. All right, I've already flipped these several times. Y'all know I'm not really... Are the grill marks pretty? Yeah. The sole is the same color all the way through your meat. These are running right around 150, between 150, 155 degrees. Let's get them off the grill. 
under the plate. Getting raindrops all over. All right. Oh, got some lightning. Got some lightning going. I'm gonna put this one over so you see both sides at the same time. Got my insulated work glove on, so I can grab my beans. I can't find my pit paws anywhere. And these are brand new gloves, so I use them. All right, let's bring it down here. Like so. That's the thunder and lightning going. Throw these beans up a little bit. The beans on the plate. A big chunks of red pepper in there. <laughs> See the bite of this loin here. Wow, that fork went in there like it was nothing. Yeah, it was sticking a fork in the air. Lucky there. I can get it focused. There we go. We get a uh, little bean juice on there. Holy crap. Got really good smoke flavor on there. I, use, I like using the pellets in the grill better than I do on a piece of crap pit bus I got. This is the biggest waste of four hundred dollars I ever got, or ever spent. Anyway, here, let me take this glove off. See if I can show you how tender this is. Yeah, you can't even pull it off the fork without it falling apart. Now it's starting to rain pretty good. I better get in the house. Anyway, hope you guys like this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. I'm getting really wet. Four seasons out. Have a great Friday.